Hey folks, welcome back to Failure Retirement. So today, Failure's son is getting his hay cut. So I thought I'd just swing by and check it out, see what it looks like. Let me turn the camera around and I'll show you what I'm seeing. So here we are. This isn't the field that I usually film in when I've been over here before. Actually, this is the field that the balers were in last year when I filmed that. So the crop this year, it's okay. It's not great. Uh, kind of knew that it was short on nitrogen over the winter. You could just kind of tell looking at it. Um, didn't put as much nitrogen as usual. It's because the price of hay last summer was not great and the price of nitrogen was so we shorted it a little bit which is probably never the right thing to do um, but it's kind of like how much money do you want to make how much money do you want to lose pretty tough call so anyway uh tell your son uh, put maybe, I think maybe half the nitrogen that we usually put. The crop definitely shows it. Um, but again, it's like, really, it was kind of unsure. Like, is this a year a guy's going to make money or not? It's hard to know. And I never, I personally, I never like doing stuff that way. You got to kind of go for it usually. But this year, even I was just like, man, I don't know. So, and I think in our area here, just looking at everybody else's, everybody else's looks the same. We had what I would call a normal winter, or more or less normal winter for the first time in a number of years. So this ended up getting, you know, pretty regularly scheduled rain and uh, had some nice warm days mixed in there. So everybody's stuff grew pretty decent. And then uh, the pastures, the people around that have native pasture that they're running cows on, they got a lot of feed too. So it does concern me what the hay's gonna go for. I'm kind of afraid it's not gonna be a lot. So this is, uh, we grow ryegrass here, but this ranch has, as you can see, tons of wild oats in it. Last year, we sprayed some of the wild oats out. This year, again, to save money, uh, we did not. Good question, you know, if that was the right call or not. The wild oats, it's not a good thing. I think it, we grow ryegrass, we plant ryegrass seed. I think the wild oats really choke out the ryegrass. But then again, if the wild oats weren't in here, I don't know how much ryegrass there would be. Just looking down in here, it's here. You know, this is one right here. It's in here, but man, it's pretty thin. But then again, how would it have done if the wild oats weren't choking it out? Really, really good question. So I don't know. I don't know how this is going to turn out. I, I hope it turns out good for son of failure. Swather's coming back here. These modern swathers, and it's not like the swathers new, but modern swathers with the disc head, they can really get after it. 
sometimes I feel like, and we have like a little down spot right here. Sometimes I feel like they leave a little bit too much behind compared to a sickle machine. But then again, I don't know. So it is, what day is it? Uh, 29th. I believe it's April 29th, if anybody is wondering. And as far as the time to cut hay in this area, this is pretty close. Last year, I think we were a week, 10 days earlier, I believe, if I remember right. Um, but that was on the early side. Um, like last week of April, typically, is about when you want to get after it, weather dependent. We've got great weather forecasts, 80 degrees for the next week or so. He's throwing the windrow really wide. So I'm guessing the goal is, I haven't talked to any of them, guessing the goal is to try to get her cured down quick and get it in the bale quick. Quick in this part of the country is maybe six days, some, somewhere in that line. Alrighty, I just wanted to show you this real quick, show you what was happening today, even though this is not my project anymore. Um, I think a fair amount of my viewers find the hay part of it interesting, judging by the views I got last year. So here we are, and I'll probably do one or two more videos as they rake this, potentially and definitely when they bale it. Alrighty, folks. Appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time on Failure at Retirement. Have a good day.